Consistency and following God is a true way to grow in anything. Once you apply God in the center of everything that you have going on and ask him, Lord, what is your will for my life? You can release and let go and trust that God is in control and he has a final say. You see, when I was here first starting growing on YouTube, I was always posting when I feel like it. I was giving it my some mediocre energy and expecting to see great results. But it wasn't until I started being dis disciplined and following God and putting him first and not trying to sit there and grow with views and likes and try to be the next best thing that everything started to flourish. And I'm speaking from the heart. True great advice is to place God in the center of everything that you're doing and say, Lord, let your will be done. Use me to be a blessing to many others out there in any and every way. Whoever I come in contact with, let me be a blessing to them. Let me worship them. Um, let me share your word. Let, them sh let me share how good you have been in my life. And maybe it could help and inspire them. But when I got on here on YouTube, I had this platform for like many years, like maybe from since 2008 or something like that. And I was posting every year maybe or whatever or whatever and expecting great results. How can I expect great results when I was putting in this piss poor energy? But man, as I started to be consistent, really align what I wanted to do in life and just, just start to eliminate the things that were slowing me down, the distractions and saying, Andrew, what do you want in life? What do you want to see this channel be? And I started following Christ and then he started to open up my eyes to see the bigger picture. And it was way more than views, likes, comments. I just started being myself, getting on here, sharing, and being consistent with it. Each and every day I come out here and try to place a video. I might react to some food channels and just help others because I was like, it's not about me. It's about how can I help you? How can I serve others? Serving others by posting great content, positive content, uplifting content, serving others by sharing others' work and just knowing that I'm not the only talented one out there. There's so many other people who needs to be discovered and I'll use my platform. I'll sacrifice the platform the Lord has allowed me to have to be a blessing to someone else. So I started sharing content, reacting to videos and posting videos like these to inspire and uplift and let you know like you are doing enough, but at the same time, you gotta, you get what you put in, you know, if I said that right. Put in what you want to receive. If you want piss poor energy and a channel or whatever you pursuing or a business, well, put in that low lack work, work and expect it to work out. It's not. But if you want high excellence, great, you want to be one of the greats, you want to be inspiring to others, you want to be uplifting to others, you want to help others, start treating yourself right, putting great things in your body like good food, healthier choices. Don't eat a whole bunch of junk and expect to have great results. You won't get what you put in. But get back on topic, Andrew. When I started trying to grow on here, it wasn't until I started being consistent. That is the only way. It's not trying to post wonderful thumbnails. It's not about trying to trick people into thinking or bashing others to grow. How do you expect to have a great, uplifting, inspiring channel by bashing others or pointing out others' flaws? Channels like that are cool, not bashing them. But at the same time, I wanted to come on here and be inspiring. When you turn into this channel, it'll be the Lord's work working through me to be a blessing to someone else. And just continuing to grow that way, authentic. And just say, hey, Andrew, what do you like to do? What do you enjoy doing? What is something that you could do without being paid for? And then eventually, I guess the finances will come. But that's not in my mindset like it once was. It's about getting on here and sharing and inspiring and putting my all into these videos. This might be my third video for the morning because I deleted it because I felt like I wasn't giving out great energy. Like no one was going to be able to receive anything from that message. Maybe, but Lord, use me. And I want to give my best and let y'all know, like I watched endless and endless of videos when I first started of how to grow, how to do this, what's the best tactics, all this stuff. And it all summed back down to being consistent and putting in good work. Every video, whether people, one person watch, whether two people or a million, you wanna know like that content that goes out, that's your best work and you gave it your all. And that's all I do. 
trying to inspire, trying to uplift, let y'all know, stay in y'all Bibles, read your daily devotional, spend time with God. He's our creator. He's our leader. He has a final say. And everything else, else is going to work itself out. And else. Bloopers and all. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. I want y'all to be inspired. I want y'all to start living out your dreams and not living for other people and working at jobs that y'all hate or knowing that you have so much talent and you just letting it go to waste. Like you, someone is waiting on you to inspire them. Someone is waiting on you with your talents, your creativity that the Lord has placed within you. But they're not going to receive anything. They're going to stay stuck because it's like a chain reaction kind of thing. I bless someone so they could be a blessing to someone else and then it continues to go that way. But if I, if it stops at me and I'm just stuck at this job, giving them my best energy because I want to be able to pay my bills or survive, I'm just barely surviving. God has, I'm going to block somebody else from their blessing, but God has so much in store for you. You are built to be, you are created to be a blessing to someone else. You were created for so much greatness and you have so much greatness trapped within inside of you but you're fearful to step out and take that risk, that leap of faith, and believe that God got you. He's brought you this far in life. Don't you think he got so much more in store for you? Don't you think he has this wonderful, lavish lifestyle that you keep dreaming about, that you keep feeling in your heart, that you know is so much more you could be doing, but you're just staying right there in that comfortable zone? What has that got you, being comfortable? Nothing. Where where has it brought you anywhere? Does do you feel any better than yesterday? No, you feel demotivated. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. You feel like, man, I know. I've seen all these other people doing great things. I know I could be next. How are you going to find out if you don't take that leap of faith? And that's what I decided to do. Take that leap of faith and just get on here and start posting. Yeah, people not watching it right now, but I know millions are going to come. Billions of people going to flock to this eventually and i'll be able to save and heal so many others and be authentic don't do it for the money don't do it for the likes don't do it for anything other than trying to help and save others and inspire and heal others and that's what i do like lord use me use the platform that you have blessed me with this is not my platform this is yours and i'm just operating through it to help someone out there but i could keep on rambling going all day you know me i gotta get busy i gotta get back in there go make my daughter's lunch and take and put something in my stomach, something healthy and nutritious to get me, give me the energy to keep on making it through this day. But I just wanted to post that on today, let y'all know consistency is key. Everything else eh, is cool. It comes, it goes together. But the main thing is being consistent, being consistent with your health, being consistent with your posting, being consistent with your aspire, your desires and, and dreams, being consistent. Don't do it one day and then say, nah, I don't feel like doing it today. I'm so tired. And then don't do it for like a week. No, do it every day. Do it when you don't feel like it. Do it when you feel like it. But also pick something that you know is your thing. Like I love talking. I could ramble all day. I talk so much to my wife. She's like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. She don't want to hear it. I talk to this one, lecture to my kids sometimes. They don't want to hear it. So what I did, I picked up the phone, put the camera to my face and started talking. Because I know there's many people out there who want to hear what I have to say. And the Lord is always operating through me, favor on my life. And you too have favor on your life. You too could be a blessing. You too could be consistent. You too could be great. But you got to step out on faith. Look at me rhyming. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Until next time, I hope this message blesses you. I hope it did so much to your soul and your spirit and help boost you up and say, you know what, enough is enough. And you get up out of that tough situation, that the situation you don't like or you're feeling like you're trapped. I pray that this message could bless you from the bottom of my heart. Lord, use me to reach that person out there that may be going through it. I love y'all. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the love. And until next time, happy holidays. I might not see y'all again until the New Year's because, wait, I'm going to be posting. I'm still post. Not for this weekend, though, because I know y'all need to spend some time with y'all family and y'all loved ones. But right after that, I'll be back on here to inspire and uplift and get you to the next step. Like I am moving on to the next step. I love y'all. Thank you. I pray that you are blessed. You are going to have healing. You're going to have victory. You're going to have financial freedom. Everything is coming in abundance your way. Take care of yourself. Peace.